Hi, thanks for coming by Yarn again. This is Teresa. Today is Mary Maxim Monday. I don't have a kit for this month to share with you because I wasn't going to do the cat and I haven't gotten my new one yet. So I thought today I would share the Royal Fanfare throw. This throw is available on Mary Maxim and currently as of March 27th, they are having a sale on all kits. I believe it's 25% off. I do have a link down below. If you click that link, it'll take you right to Mary Maxim and show you the sale. And I do get a little bit kickback from it. It is my affiliate program and I would appreciate it if you did use that link to go look at Mary Maxim's kit. This is one kit of the many that they have that is absolutely gorgeous. It says intermediate, which makes me nervous. But it looks like a granny square start in the center and then fan stitches. So after I get my Parisian tile done, I'm going to try my hand at this one. This one it comes complete with the pattern, which I cannot open because it is a paid pattern. And it comes with eight balls of Mary Maxim Prism yarn. And each ball of yarn has 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. It's 100% acrylic. It comes with 290 yards or 265 meters. Made in Turkey. I think that's where most of the yarn is made now. It is a light three. It does have a slight halo. It calls for, whoops, focus. There we go, a four millimeter crochet needle. It's an I would believe that you probably use the same for a hook. I do not knit any longer. I did when I was a kid, but I don't I found it boring. The care instructions are hand wash in cool water. Lie lay dry to lay flat to dry. Hmm. Read that one twice. And then it's in French. And here's the See the halo? It's got a little bit of a halo on there. It's kind of thin, but I think it is a good three. Focus. There we go. Isn't that nice? And these colors are gorgeous. Look at that's the blue. And it's a darker blue. It goes into a lavender. It goes into a purple. And they're all the same. It also comes in this little, in this bag, this project bag that you could keep all your yarn in. And when you're done, your blanket should fit in here. And in the front, if you look here, you could see this line right here. This line is a pocket on the inside that holds your pattern. So you can use it as a project bag on the go. And you just keep your little project pattern in here. And you probably could put a hook in there. I never use it like that. I just use it to hold my yarn while I'm doing a project. And after it's done, I put my project in there to store it. Which I really have to start giving away the other things that I make. And it goes deep into these colors. All the way down. And then if you grab another ball, this one is so much lighter. See the colors? They're so much lighter than this one, but yet they're the same color. This is misty, and this is misty. The dye lot is the same, and yet look at how different they are. Isn't that nice, though? It's going to make a pretty blanket, or throw, excuse me. Well, that's your Mary Maxim for this Monday. I hope you liked it. If you have liked it, could you please give it a thumbs up? If you haven't already subscribed, please think about doing so. If you have subscribed and you are one of my regular subscribers, thank you for stopping by again. I do appreciate the visit. I look forward to seeing you again or on the YouTube streets. Bye.